Come forward. Twice you're in. Lead hand out. Twice you're in. Kick. Got the hands. Chases. I kick. Straight back. Angle up. Hi there, my name is Ashraf the Pocket Rocket Uddin. Uh, today we are going to be working on a nice little technique to entice your opponent forwards. Okay, so if you have an opponent that's a little bit cagey, taking their time, a bit hesitant, okay, from here looking for an opening, you can give them that opening um, and then when they chase, we're going to lure them in and then counter, um, in this case with a kick to the body. Okay, so I'll show you the technique. So from here, so from here, your opponent's just a bit hesitant to come in, just deep in, deep in, measuring the jab from here. And then I might step back with the back leg, drop my hands, shoulder up, come forwards, form kick. Okay, so I'll show you that again. So here, initially my opponent's just measuring, just measuring. There, she's looking, I'm measuring too, looking for that, she's looking for that opening. And then I'll step back out of range, wait there, step back out of range. From here, drop the hands, step back, kick. Uh, when you're doing this technique, you are, is a bit risky. Um, you wanna make sure your lead hand stays out. So you're probing, measuring, making sure she doesn't get too close. Okay, so from here, it's very important. What you don't wanna do is stay there, drop your hands, and then come forwards with no barrier. So effectively, this lead hand is stopping her from coming in or measuring at least, okay, so you can judge your distance. So initially we're here, stand off, boom, there, then I drop my hands, entice her in, use the lead hand to measure, and then just flick that kick up, okay? Show you that one more time. So from here, stand off, drop the hands, entice her in, lead hand out, yeah, and then all of a sudden I just want to stop, when she's in range, stop my left leg, my lead leg, and then just pop out the kick. So I'll show you again if you watch my lead foot. So I'm using the lead hand to measure. Here's a standoff. Right. Yeah, if she's doing the same, she's not coming in. Right, and then I drop my hands, come in. Boom, that's it. Stop, let her walk into that technique. Okay, so now we have the opponent chasing you. You've landed that one kick counter. Um, a lot of the times your opponent, you, you'll probably catch your opponent off guard, they might not like it, and they're likely to then change direction or go backwards. Okay, so they're rushing forwards, they think you're hurt, or they're looking for an opening, they come in, you throw the counter, they change direction. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse our direction and then chase them. So initially they were chasing us, we were luring them in, we've hit them, now they've gone back, so now we're gonna reverse it. Um, to do this technique, we're gonna use uh, the chaining technique that we did in the other video. So I'll show you what it should look like. So from here, okay, my opponent is at a standoff. So we're just here, measuring, boom, there. Then I drop my hands, entice her in, kick, she goes back, shuffle, boom. And then I go in with that chaining technique. I'll show you that one more time. So from here, we're here, stand, stand up. There's no movement, we're just here in front of each other. Kick, kick, measuring, she's looking for the opening. I drop my guard, entice her in. Kick, when she goes back, oh, oh, I'm gonna chain those techniques, okay? Stand up. Drop my hands, she comes in. Kick, she changes direction. Oh, chain the technique. Okay, we'll do it from the other side. Here. We're at standoff now, so she's a bit hesitant to come in, just measuring. I drop my hands, she comes in to chase, I kick, she goes back, boom, and then I chase. Okay, so for the next scenario, we're going to look at what to do if uh, you've got your opponent to chase you, you've gone back, you've landed that kick counter, you spooked them a little bit, but they've only gone back by one step and they're looking to counter you. So what in that situation, what you don't want to do is rush in to a potential counter in a straight line. So we are going to angle off. So I'll show you what I mean. So from here, we're at a standoff. 
your opponent's a little bit cautious, right, and from here, wait there, I drop my hands, I entice her in, I throw the kick, she goes back one step, and then from here, I'm going to angle off before I counter, right, I don't want to stand there and walk into a potential elbow or a cross, right, so one more time, we're here at a standoff, right, so here, that's it, and then I drop my hands, entice her, kick, she goes back, boom, she stopped, so I angle off, and knee, okay, so when we're angling off, we're still using this technique, we're still chaining, right, from here, um, we're still going to use that skipping motion, so she goes back once, boom, boom, but this time, I'm going to skip around my opponent, right, the footwork, uh, the movement, the motion is the same, but you want to shuffle around your opponent instead, instead of doing two shuffles forwards into a potential strike. So from here, one more time. So my opponent's measuring. Sit a bit cautious. Drop my hands. Back. Kick. Go forwards. She stays there. And then you throw your technique. Right stand off. From here, drop my hands, entice her in, kick, shuffle back, angle off, and then pop in a knee um, or an elbow, a short range weapon. One more time. So from here, stand off. Drop my hands, she chases, kick, she goes back, angle off, um, and then throw a short range strike. Okay, last one, we'll do it in real time now. So from here, measuring, stand off, that's it. Drop my hands, she chases, kick, boom, angle off, kick. Just from here, stand off. Drop my hands, she chases, I kick, she goes back, angle off, and then you throw your strike. Okay, that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you want more information on um, any other techniques, you can follow me on social media. Um, just search for Ash Pocket Rocket. And we'll see you on the next video. Okay, take care.